who's going to get admission into a university and who's not. So if you look at the IITs and compare it to the Ivy League schools, all of the students have that same 90%. All of the students have that same skills of dancing or singing. How do you make yourself special? What am I doing different that nobody else is doing? If I would not have been in this education realm, I would never have even thought that I would find my passion doing and becoming the person I never thought I would meet when I was in high school. So it's like a full circle, Sharanya. Today, you're going to find out how science in the real world is more than just textbook learning from a person whose mission is to help students pursue their passion in science. Ms. Rachna Nath is one of the top educators in the US who guides teens across the country and the world through the process of scientific research, patents, grants, and opens up opportunities that could make their career in science. In doing so, she hopes to inspire and support students. In other words, become the person she was looking for in high school. Keep watching to learn more about Ms. Nath and her perspective on making science education fun. You can find the link to her website in the description box. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can keep seeing content like this. Let's get into it. So my first question for you is what exactly is it that you do and why is it an important job? So um, I am a honeybee scientist, but I prefer to teach high school students precisely for the fact that I like to motivate uh, students beyond what they think they can do. Uh, and being high school students or even elementary school students, they don't know what the opportunities and avenues and again, opportunities are. So uh, I, being in, the in, being in the academia and research and industry, I want to bring that resource back to the students so that they can be aware. I came across uh, in your profile, you mentioned that sometimes you set up research programs and projects for kids as early as an eighth grade. Why not wait for them to be a little older? but I work with students as early as fourth, fifth, sixth graders. And the question is for you, why not wait till older? Now, I feel that uh, the curiosity that is present in younger students, it becomes more and more and more channelized, it's lost when you are 11th and 12th graders because now you're more interested in getting into a college. So then while you're preparing for your exams, your curiosity diminishes. So I want to catch those students who are still curious enough and their brains and their mindsets are more abstract uh, or concrete, whatever you take it, like concrete thinking versus abstract thinking. And that's why that, uh, that age gap that I talked about. A lot of Indian students today have the mentality that if you want to pursue science, you can only become a medical doctor or an, or an engineer. Merging science with fields like business is almost unheard of. Why is that the case and do you expect it to change in the future? I'll tell you about a project that uh, we are actually venturing out. Uh, what we are trying to do is exactly address that point that you just mentioned. Now, it's not just about getting into a medical or an engineering profession or a law profession, but there are so many small chunks of things that you can do, especially in places where you are, I was born and brought up in India, in Assam. And at that point, when I was doing my 10th grade exam in 1993, I was given those two options, medical or engineering. But now coming here, I see, oh my God, I don't have to be an engineer or a doctor to have impact. And particularly the mindset for those two professions are coming from the financial mindset, right? Because when your parents tell you you have to be a doctor or an engineer, they're thinking about, oh, let me make my kid financially secure. Provided that you also have to invest in what the students wants to do. And how do they know what their goal is, which is not an engineering or a medical profession? So awareness, you know, creating role models in society where they understand that People can be as successful and making as much money, well, not maybe as much money, as any doctor and engineer. So it's more when you really like what you do, Sharanya, work is not work anymore. Work becomes fun. That is what I try to educate people. Why is this so important, though? Why would the whole process of actually, you know, filing out for patents and doing research in an actual lab, 
um, matter so much more than just textbook learning that we do in the classroom? Um, I mean, I can approach this in many different ways, right, Mia, but I, I do not want to discourage anybody because some of the students are just academic learners, you know, they do really well just studying, 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 studying and getting A's and you know, 90% of it. So it's, well, that is for them. But for me, what I have seen is, uh, particularly in US uh, and in India too, you'll see the competition for these students are extremely high, right? Um, to get into a college, everybody is getting a 90%. Uh, so how do you differentiate who's going to get admission into a university and which one who's not? So if you look at the IITs, you look at, you know, the uh, your, uh, established educational and medical colleges in India and compare it to the U.S., you see now we are talking about Ivy League schools. We are talking about Stanford, Harvard, you know, um, whatever schools you're talking about. When all of the students have that same 90%, right? When all of the students have that same uh, skills of dancing or singing, so either dancing or singing, right? Everybody does that in India. All of them are culturally motivated. All of them do some kind of dance or Hindustani, Carnatic music. And, you know, everybody is volunteering. Everybody is doing some social work. How do you make yourself special? <clears throat> that's the question you have to ask what am i doing different that nobody else is doing yeah. in your own experience what specializations will have the most potential in the future or at least which ones garner the most interest from students you work with that's a difficult question because see when for most of the students they don't even know what they want to do but I have seen a lot of interest in space industry and robotics. Now, um, I am also a NASA ambassador. So in that capacity, I try to tell students that it's not just a math and the physics geniuses that actually end up working for space. But I was in high school. I had so many of these ideas, but I had no one to look out for. And I was not, I wouldn't approach anybody with my questions. If I asked questions, I was always told that you are so troublesome. You don't have to ask, I mean, that the questions that you're asking doesn't, is no relevance to your content. So why are you disturbing or taking away time from the content, right? Then I started believing that I'm wasting people's time and I would just shut up. Uh, most of the questions that I truly wanted to be answered when I was in high school at your age did not get answered. I did not meet the person who would help me with that question directly or indirectly right so that is the reason Sharanya, you know, why i am here today be becoming that person that i can make those connections but i was missing because i did not have that support and i want to be that support for students like you yourself and the students that i work with that they can see that stepwise process so that, that can make a difference and not just by getting good scores in academia but also venturing out into a world of the unknown, becoming vulnerable, willing to fail, willing to get up again, willing to try something different that nobody else has tried. Because that's a big issue, though, because they said, oh, that is not for high school students. Let's not do it. That's not the case. You have to be inquisitive. You have to push forward to a point where It'll take you in a journey that is absolutely your own and nobody else's. I think that is one of the biggest uh, achievements that I would say is um, something that sticks out with me because if I would not have been in this education realm, I would never have even thought that I would find my passion doing and becoming the person I never thought I would meet when I was in high school. So it's like a full circle, Sharanya. Now, the last long response question I have for you is what advice would you give to students who want to make a career in science? Now, I, I tend to take the analogy of the sh your shadow and how it moves along with you throughout the day as the way that you have to adapt yourself to different situations in your life. Now, early in the morning, the shadow is behind you. It's the longest. Remember, the shadow is always with you, whether you see it or not. So make that point a thing in your life that people who really support you 
will stick with you no matter what. They might be visible in the mornings and the evenings, or if the sun is right up in your head, above your head, you don't see it because it's right below your feet. It's always there. Support is always there, Sharanya. You need to wait for the right opportunity to figure out how and where your support is. My father is a cricketer. He used to always tell me, and I still follow this, whenever you are a batsman, watch the bowler. Your bowler is your life opportunities and challenges. You are the person who have to either hit the ball or you're going to be out. If the bowler comes and gives you a bouncer, do you stand there and get hit in your face with the ball? But I would prefer to duck. Duck means just let it pass over my head. That's not for me. That opportunity that just came, which the ball is the opportunity, it's not for me. Let it go. Sit down. It's okay. When you see that it's perfectly at the pitch and the length that you want to, never fail to hit it for a sixer. This is Science Teens, where we meet experts and ask questions that can help you make the right study and career decisions in the sciences. I do this as a fellow student, and your support through a like and subscription will give me and everyone working on this channel a lot of encouragement.